Thou for Father, is the Almighty Father, he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I am a Father, Hallelujah. I am a Father, he is the Almighty Father. He is King of Kings and is Lord of Lords. I have a Father. I have a Father. He is the Almighty Father. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a father, hallelujah, I have a father, the almighty father, and he is king of kings and his lord of lords. I have a father, Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the I am that I am. Praise the Almighty Father, our greatest King, our El Shaddai, Elohim Adonai, the only Father of everyone. Thank you, Jesus. We are so grateful for your message today. Thank you for keeping us till this very moment. Thank you for holding our hands. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for mercies, O Lord. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah in the highest. Hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Come on, worship him. Say something sweet to your father. Say something wonderful to him. Say, ah, Lord, we pray. Praise you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for keeping us safe and sound till today, 11th of January, 2024. It's definitely not by our power, neither is it by our might, neither is it by our prayers. It's just by your mercies. Thank you, Lord, for being merciful unto us. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for being graceful unto us. The Bible says, I will have mercy on woman. I will have mercy. Thank you, Lord, for counting us among those whom you give mercy. Oh, Lord, we are grateful. Hallelujah to your name. Good morning, family. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm super excited to be speaking with you this morning again. It's just all by the Lord's mercies. Thank you so much for tuning in. May the Lord bless you and heal you and strengthen you and abide with you all the days of your life. May God never forsake or leave you. May his presence consistently and continually be in your life all the days of your life and those of your families in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our topic for today, Open Heavens Devotional by Pastor E.E. E. Adeboye, 11th of January 2024, is titled, It Shall Be Well, Part 3. It Shall Be Well, Part 3. Praise the Lord. We've been on this series for the past two days. The first day we talked about it shall be well, part one, and we emphasized on those whom it shall be well with and those are the righteous, those who are righteous. So we have to search ourselves and ensure that we are righteous. And the two which was yesterday was talking about praising God, praising God. Those who praise God, it shall be well with them. It is very important that we learn how to praise God every day of our lives. And today we are on the path. Three, praise God, may the Lord illuminate his word in our hearts to give us light and understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I remember mean, verse is taken from John 14, verse 13. John chapter 14, verse 13, and it says, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father make you glorified in the Son. 
and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Praise God. Our Bible reading is taken from the same book of John, chapter 14, verses 13 to 14. And I read, it says, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Praise God. This Bible reading is emphasizing that whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus, whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus, trust Jesus speaking. So whatsoever you ask in the name of Jesus, he says he will do such that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You know, the Bible also says that God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, that the name of Jesus, every name must bow, every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord of things on earth, of things in heaven, of things on that in earth, according to Philippians 2, 2 verses 9 to 11. And now this is re-emphasizing that since anything we ask in the name of Jesus, it will do unto us. Praise God. Our Bible in one year written is Genesis chapter 36 to 38. Genesis chapter 36 to 38. Praise God. Our message reads, over the past two days, I discuss the need for you to live righteously and make a habit of praising God if you want it to be well with you this new year. Today, I will look at prayer as one more spiritual activity that you must take very seriously in this new year so that it can be well with you. It is obvious that things are getting tougher as we approach the end time. The consolation, however, is the Lord's assurance in Joel 2 verse 32 where he says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. In the book of Judges, the Bible says that the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and consequently the Midianites terrorized them for seven years. Judges chapter 6 verses 1 to 2. However, when the children of Israel came to the realization that it was the Lord that was punishing them because of their sins, they cried to him in prayers. The Lord answered and delivered them from their troubles, just as he will answer you today in Jesus' name. Amen. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. Beloved, for it to be well with you in this new year, you must repair the, the altar of prayer and be ready to pray earnestly to the Lord. Jesus promised all his followers who believe in him that if they should ask anything in his name, he will do it. John 14 verse 14. What then are you waiting for? Pray to God now and continue to pray to him until he causes a complete turnaround in every negative situation you might be experiencing. The Lord is ready to answer the prayers of his children this year, if only they can pray. It shall be well with you as you spend quality time praying to God this year in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's obvious that we need to pray. Prayer is the third point for today, for it should be to be well with us. So we need to seek the face of the Lord in prayer. If God has promised it, then we need to go ahead and unless it. God has said we shall ask anything, and believing we will receive it. So let us go ahead and pray unto God. Let us pray from the depth of our hearts. Say thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Say thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah once again. Hallelujah, hallelujah forever. We will praise and worship you. Say thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. Please cleanse me with your blood. Use your precious blood of Jesus to wash my sins away. Now go ahead and ask for the Lord's mercy that the Lord will come true for you, that the Lord will help you, the Lord will turn every negative situation around for your good, that the Lord will provide for you, the Lord will pay ways for you. Everything you desire, come and go ahead and pray that you are healed. Your family member that is currently sick is healed. Everything not working begins to work in the name of Jesus. That everything used to the name of the Lord in your name, in the name of Jesus. Valleys are filled 
in every mountain the lord gives you the grace to crumble them or to fly over them or to walk on them in the name of jesus the lord makes ways for you where there seems to be no way everything that is making you cry the lord wipes it away and gives you joy every every spirit of comfort of of, of money the lord takes it away the lord what everyone who is mourning at this time in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you, your home and your family members shall prosper. It is well with your going out, it is well with your coming in in the name of Jesus. Even if evil happens on the right, on the left, it shall never come near you. You are preserved of the Lord. Your days are filled with the presence of God in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you, therefore he has given you strength. He has given you strength for days, for years. He has given you strength for glory, for his glory, for his name alone to be praised. See, all the days of your life you will worship God. Meet totally unto him. See, all the days of your life you will serve him, you will worship him, you will propagate his name to the ends of the year. The Lord will help you. The Lord will strengthen you in the name of name of Jesus. The oil shall never run dry in your home, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and pray. Ask the Lord for everything you want. Say it is well with you in the morning. It is well with you at night. It is well with you during the day, in the name of Jesus. You shall not mourn. You shall not cry. You shall not be mourned. You shall not cry over you, in the name of Jesus. Your children are blessed. You are blessed. Your home is blessed. Your family is blessed, in the name of Jesus. Let the name of the Lord personally be praised in your life in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead and pray unto God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and worship Him. Go ahead and exalt Him. For He has promised that we should ask, He will give us. So go ahead and utilize it. Go ahead, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our aim for today is taken from. As the CG in 22 and it says, Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and beats me as my father's throne, made all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and now to escape the tempter's name. Um, thy return, sweet hour of prayer. I say, Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer. Thy wish shall be my petition bear to him whose truth and faithfulness engage the wasting souls to bless. And since he bids me seek his face, believe his word, and trust his grace, I'll cast on him my every care and wait for this sweet hour of prayer. Praise God. Our prayer point says, Father, let it be well with me this year in Jesus' name. Come on, go ahead and say that. Say, Father, let it be well with me. Let it be well with me in the name of Jesus. Let it be well with me this year, 2024. My family and my friends and my relatives, everyone who concerns me, let it be well with me. Let it be well with me. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. It is well with me. It is well with my family. It is well with my business. With my career, this one with my spiritual life. This year, I pray like never before. I go higher spiritually. I move. I am closer to Jesus. I walk in His ordinances more than ever before. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Ask everything you want. Ask the Lord, turning situations around for your good. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know I will read your testimony very soon. God is in control. God is turning things around for you. Remember to just keep asking him anything. Ask him, praise him, ask him, praise him, ask him. It's going to come true for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless your heart, bless your soul, bless everything that concerns you. And cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Okay, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Have an amazing day. God's presence will be with you all the days of your life. He will never leave nor forsake you. When you call him in the day of trouble, he will answer you and deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you, Jesus loves you most. See you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye.